Hello everyone, this is Boricua Binks and welcome back to Let's Play Ace Attorney Justice for All. In the last episode, Maya's in trouble and we are going to defend her. Because of course, that's what we gotta do. We know she's innocent, but it doesn't look too good right now. So we were doing some investigating and we spoke to her creepy aunt and now we are in the side room. So let's see what's going on. Oh no. <laughs> um, I'm still recording the same session, so I don't know if, if you guys have responded yet about her voice. So I'll keep doing it for now, okay? Uh, my next recording session, whenever I stop, maybe you guys will have responded by then. So we'll see if I end up changing her voice or not. Depends on what you guys say. Alright. <clears throat> oh, hey. Like, you're that guy from yesterday. The, uh, dentist guy? No, no, I'm a lawyer. That's right. Um, Mr. Smith, Esquire. That's right. Wait, I mean, you're wrong. My name is Wright. Smith, Wright. Well, I got like three letters at least. Seriously? Are you kidding me? <laughs> I don't think she gets the point. <sighs> Excuse me. <sighs> I might be... This might be my last episode for today. We'll see. <clears throat> anyway, why are you here? So, like, I study this thing called parapsychology at this college, and... Um, you told me about that yesterday. The sesame allergy, too. What I'd really like to know is why you're still here today. Oh, so like, that's what you meant. Like, it should have been more, like, clear about it. S sorry my bad. No, it's okay. Like, it's really... Huh? That's it? Why'd you stop mid-sentence? <laughs> Did I? So, like, what was I talking about again? Jesus, it's like pulling teeth. If Lada ever wanted another genuine, mysterious phenomenon, it's right here. Lady. Lady. Come on now. So, why are you still here today? Like, there's so much for me to, like, study here. Like what? Like, the medium's training, or like, how they inherit their spiritual power. I suppose this village is the real thing, after all. So, like, I asked if I could stay here for, like, a little longer. She sure seems like the carefree type, at least on the surface. Um, I don't know if this is gonna be new or not. Have you heard about the murder? It's, like, a totally scary. She says with a silly smile plastered on her face. <laughs> so do you know anything about it that might help? Somehow I don't think she has a grip on reality, let alone what's going on here. How about anything new about the victim? About the victim, Dr. Gray. I don't know who you're talking about. Like... Wait, I think you asked about him, like, yesterday, too? That's right. Her reaction yesterday when I asked was... A total freakout. You and Dr. Gray knew each other, right? Big freakout. Yep. Uh-huh, sure. She said she was his patient. Okay, she is definitely hiding something from me. Like, is something wrong? Yeah, you. <laughs> Let me see if I could present this to her. Uh, here. Like, I'm really sorry, but... And I know, like, you totally had your heart set on it, but I can't, like, take it. Who said anything about giving this to you? Dang, lady. Okay. Uh, uh, let's just look here. What's this? Hmm. Now, where 
did this box come from? I'm sure this wasn't here last night. It looks like a box for storing clothes, but it's pretty big for just clothes. It's mostly empty, but a few folded pieces of channeling costumes sit at the bottom. Really? And what about this? Nobody's in there, right? You left the blanket a mess. Are you going to fold it? Like, I had a really good nap, and like... I was thinking of leaving it like this, so like, it's all set for tonight. <sighs> Alrighty then. Nothing else to be gained, I guess. Let's just go. Ugh. Oh, something new. Oh my gosh, it's Pearl again! Hi! Ugh, oh, you surprised me. And how are you today? Hmm, I guess she isn't open to friendly chatting. Huh? She's still holding something in her hand. It looks like the same thing she had yesterday. Okay. Now you're not gonna run, right? <laughs> I gotta show you something. Maya said to give it to you. <clears throat> oh yeah, Maya said to give this to you. Oh no, she's crying. Ah, I'm in trouble now. If Morgan sees us like this, I'll be the, ne the next one they're channeling. Aww. Okay, this is gonna be... <laughs> oh, my throat's already hurting. How am I gonna do her voice when my throat hurts? I'm stupid. <laughs> oh boy. That's... That's Mystic Maya's! Huh? She actually spoke. Who are you? I'm Phoenix Wright. I, uh, worked with Maya. Y you worked with Mystic Maya? You... You're Mr. Nick, right? Uh, excuse me? I bet I know who she picked Nick up from. I know who you are. You're... You're Mystic Maya's... Special someone. W what? <laughs> so cute. Oh boy, here we go. Oh, her cute music. Oh. I can't compare to Skinny's adorable voice for her. But my take on Pearl is that she's she's actually like. Wait, hold on. Let me show. Pearl is. Yeah, she's eight. So, I'm going to make her sound a little bit older than Skinny's version, but Skinny's version's so cute. Oh. So then, of course, you're going to help Mystic Maya, aren't you? That's what you're going to do, right? W well, yeah, I will. Oh, wow. It's like a beautiful fairy tale. That earnest look shining brightly in your eyes. It must be true love. What? Why am I being boiled into a bright red lobster by this little kid? Oh, she's so cute. She's a total romantic at heart. <laughs> she reminds me of me, actually, now that I think about it. I'm so jealous of Mystic Maya. Ah, what a wonderful relationship. W wait, I, uh, I mean, we aren't... Things aren't like... <laughs> I can tell you're a good person. Alright, Mr. Nick. I may be small, but I'm going to help you in any way I can. Aw, oh, thank you, Pearly. You're so adorable. Let's talk. Pearl, are you friends with Maya? Oh, I feel very grateful to be friends with her. She's so great. I want to be like Mystic Maya when I grow up. I really look up to her. Wow, I had no idea Maya was so... revered. Usually, when people don't use Mystic Maya's title, I get mad, like my mom. She's a psycho. <laughs> oh, sorry. But if it's you, Mr. Nick, then it's okay. Because... Because you're special to her. 
Where in the world did she get an idea like that? By the way, this may be rude, but which channeling school are you from? Which channeling school? Yes, for example, I study the Karain technique. Ah, I get it. No, no, no. I'm a lawyer. A lawyer. Lawyer? Yep. Is that related to spirit mediums in any way? Um, none that I know of. Wait, are you telling me you don't know what a lawyer is? I'm sorry, but I have no idea. Maya did say Pearl doesn't know much about the outside world. Aw, she's so cute! Let's talk about the item in her hand. So what's that you've got there, Pearl? Oh, this? I found it yesterday. Hmm. If you want it, I can give it to you. Yes, take it. Alright, well, if you really want to give it to me... <laughs> you look like a child at a toy store, Mr. Nick. She not only speaks in a refined manner, but laughs in one, too. Yeah, okay, so the fact that he said that tells me that she should sound a little bit more mature, so... Hmm. But she's also cute, and she's a kid, so... It's like you have to find that balance. It's pretty tricky. Alright, black key added to the court record. Um, Mr. Nick? Yes, Pearls. I can call you that, right? You're too cute to just call you Pearl. Sure. Mr. Nick, um, are you sure it's okay for me to have this Magatama? Yeah, it's okay. I was told to give it to you. But I can't accept something like this. All I really should do is charge this Magatama with spiritual energy. Spiritual energy? Ooh, nice. Please take this. I'm sure it will be helpful. What do you mean? It will let you see people's secrets. See people's secrets? Yes. If it's alright with you, I would like to accompany you for a little while. I can explain the Magatama's power to you when we meet someone hiding a secret. Aww. That's so adorable. Hee <laughs> hee. <laughs> so, I love Pearl. Okay, let's go. Now that we have that, let's go talk to this this girl again. Oh my gosh. Alright, Miss Miney. Hello again. We seem to be seeing a lot of each other today. Aw, she's like totally cute. Is she like your daughter? What? No! How old do you think I am? <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Hmm. You keep lying to me about the victim. I want to ask you about the victim, Dr. Gray. I, like, totally don't know him. Oh. Stop lying, girl! What's going on? Ah! <laughs> what is that? You can see it, can't you, Mr. Nick? You can see the lock on that person's heart. Huh? What? This is the power of the Magatama. Only you can see these psych locks, Mr. Nick. Psych locks, huh? The more someone wants to hide their secret, the more locks you will see. If it's only one, I think you can easily unlock it. Unlock? But how? Please use Mystic Maya's Magatama on this person. And let's remove the lock. I have no idea what she's talking about, but I guess I'll give it a try. You must be careful though, Mr. Nick. If you make a mistake, it will hurt you. If you don't think you have the proof you need, you must have the courage to stop. Well, I've got to start somewhere. Let's give this psych lock thing a try. Alright. I think we just click on it? I'm going to ask you again. Did you know Dr. Gray? 
I totally don't know that guy. Like, you're totally more persistent than a roach. This girl's hiding something. I'm sure of it. I guess I have no choice but to remove this lock. Alright, so first, I have to use Maya's Magatama. Oh, I had to present it. Sorry. Um... It's kind of confusing because it, it depends on the game. <laughs> okay, take that. The victim. Eeny miny, I believe you do know who Dr. Gray is. I told you, like, how many times do I, like, have to repeat myself? If you're, like, so totally sure, then where's, like, your proof? Actually, I'm not sure if I have the proof now that I'm thinking about it. <laughs> oh, boy. While it may be possible that you never actually met Dr. Gray in person, I do believe you might have at least indirectly known of him. Like, what do you mean, like, indirectly? I should try to show that the possibility existed for now. Hmm. Possible connection? I don't... No, I don't have it. I'm so dumb, I forgot. We gotta stop. I don't think I have enough evidence yet. I should investigate and gather some more clues before I try again. Sorry, I was too anxious. <laughs> I just wanted to get it over and done with. Okay, let's, uh, we'll be back for you. I, I just remembered where I have to go. Been a long time, man. Here we are. Hey, it's you, pal. So you're going to be her lawyer, I bet. Yes. Oh. I really feel bad for you, pal. Just this once. I wish I could be on your side. Aw, that's so sweet. Detective Gumshoe. Yeah, but I shouldn't be saying that kind of stuff to you. Hey, you're your cute kid. Aw. Ha ha ha. I'm not scary, honestly. Wow, I never knew Gumshoe liked kids. Oh, of course he does. Hey, I know. I'll show you something cool. How's this? It's a real, genuine pistol. D Detective Gumshoe! What are you doing showing her something that dangerous? Dude, seriously. Not cool, man. Oh, sorry. <laughs> so stupid. Uh, we adore you. Alright. Let's talk to him! Oh, excuse me, before I end the episode. What about Maya and the charges against her? I don't think you can win, pal. If you're talking about proof, we've got a few pieces. You've got proof? Yeah, pal. That puffy-haired photographer is going to testify tomorrow. Oh, no! He must be talking about Lada. Actually, speaking of Lada... Ah, uh, she took some pictures of the murder scene inside. Yes. Lada's hot pictures. I wonder what her camera captured. Besides, you must have realized by now, pal. There's no way anyone other than Maya Faye could have done it. Oh no, don't say that, Gumshoe. Ugh. Aw, right in front of Pearl. What am I supposed to say to Pearls now? Ugh, okay, let's talk about the victim. I'm finding a hair or something attached to my microphone. <laughs> Okay, anyway, um, about Dr. Gray. The victim wasn't super famous, but people still knew who he was. His face was all over those tabloid shows last year. Yeah, I know. I was looking through some newspapers from last year and... And what? Huh? I could have sworn I had... I cut an article out. But I guess I must have lost it. <sighs> oh, Gumshoe. He's searching through his pockets, and boy are those big. 
Hmm. It looked really interesting, too. Hey, do you have a copy, pal? A copy of that article? I think Dr. Gray might have brought a copy to the office when he came by. Thank goodness! Okay, uh, we will talk. I'll show that to him in a minute. Let's finish this part here. About Maya's trial tomorrow. I've got two pieces of news for you, pal. Two? Yeah, bad news and even worse news. Oh no! <laughs> oh boy. So, which do you want to hear first? I don't really care. It doesn't change the fact that I'm not going to like it. Alright, pal. Well, the prosecutor for the trial is... Prosecutor Von Karma. Dun dun dun! <laughs> what? But in all seriousness, though... What? <laughs> you mean that freaky old man? <laughs> the one that Smooth does the best voice ever for? I mean, that's crazy. What? Von Karma? That stupid jerk who tasered me and Maya? Yeah. Manfred Von Karma. He was an awe-inspiring veteran prosecutor. He never lost a case in the 40 years of his career, and he raised a fearsome disciple. The horrible aftertaste of the evil he force-fed me. Wait. Oh! The evil he force-fed me! What? <laughs> okay. And something I'll never forget. I'm just imagining him like stuffing like nastiest taste and pizza down your mouth or something. I don't know. <laughs> or Maya's like, oh, they were the worst burgers ever. They were filled with evil. <laughs> I don't know. I'm trying to be funny and I'm not, so leave me alone. <laughs> Wait a sec. But didn't Von Karma stand trial and... That's where the other piece of bad news comes in. The Von Karma you're facing tomorrow is actually his successor. Successor? You mean someone other than Edgeworth? Oh boy. So, um, who is this successor to Von Karma? Literally, pal, it's Prosecutor Von Karma's kid. His kid became a prosecutor real young, like 13, and hasn't lost a trial since. That's what they call a prodigy, pal. They said the same thing about Edgeworth, yo. <laughs> hmm, kid, huh? W wait a sec. Th 13? That does. <laughs> I'm kind of speechless, too. I'm like, every time I see this, I'm like, really? Really, game? Come on now. What is their obsession with people being so freaking young in this series? <laughs> Alright, the kid became a prosecutor at the age of 13? That's when puberty is hitting, you know? It's like... That doesn't make any sense. It's crazy. I mean, a prodigy like that? I would have heard something about... Oh, no, no. The kid was born and raised in Germany, pal. That country's got a lot of stuff, and is a great place to develop a person's talents. Yeah, that country's got a lot of stuff. That's, like, <laughs> so vague. <laughs> Germany, huh? That's probably, that's probably why I've never heard of this person. Ugh, still. All it takes is someone mentioning the name Von Karma. And I get terrible flashbacks to that case. So dramatic time. Here we go. Poor Edgeworth. Yes. Stop it. Get over it, Phoenix. That person is already gone. What do you mean, gone? Dude, you are such a drama queen. What is going on? Oh, boy. Alright, so let's just present to him the article, and then we'll be done with this episode. Um, Dr. Gray brought this over to my office the other day, and... Hey! It's that news story! The one about the malpractice suit! Fourteen patients died, and it caused a huge stink. Well, I would hope it would cause a huge stink. I mean, come on now. Yeah, but that's not all, pal. Things only got worse after that. 
You mean the car accident the nurse died in? Hmm. Oh, here we go. I brought my own clipping with me today. Here, pal. This is for you. Alright, thanks. You're so helpful, Gummy. <laughs> okay. So he couldn't find the other one, but now we have this one. Mimi Miney. Nurse at Gray Surgical Clinic died after falling asleep at the wheel. Oh boy. Um, were we supposed to talk about that? Hold on, let me present it to him really quick because I don't remember. Oh, I'd better shut my mouth. Uh, what? I'm not gonna give you any information about evidence, pal. Oh, you just gave that to me. <laughs> okay. Anyway, I guess that's it with this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying this. And until next time, have a nice day. Bye-bye!